Hey YouTube, how we doing? We're back with some Final Fantasy XIV. And is this law? <laughs> Yay, uh, no. Mm. Maybe? What might go for that? I don't know. Yeah, I thought there would be, you know. A uh, uh, outpost or whatnot, but apparently not. I feel like this is like Tron, looking at Tron, I don't know what this feels like. I don't know what this stuff is. Definitely containers. I gotta say, like, the Aetherite up here looks so cool. So cool. That is true. If, if it's a big landing. It must be pretty big. It's proper dirt. I, I, I would guess so, seeing as how uh, dust is a thing, and they are in the sky, so. Those don't look great, I'm just saying. Oh, there's dragons nearby? Oh, wow. Ooh, I like this music, though. Oh, is that really music in there? Oh, okay. Hey, is this a sanctuary? Is that why this music is here? Hold on. This is a sanctuary, okay. Feels like, sounds like bagpipes, but I don't think it is. Uh, it could be. But I think there's like a couple of other instruments that I think I can make this noise. Cause it also sounds like 
almost like edited bagpipes. Of course, this is probably like some kind of string instrument. Probably guessing a violin. whole entire area here is for the oh my gosh it gotta be the size of uh, the the big big mama the mother load that the galleons have or garleans sorry not galleons that's that's something different that's the first time i've seen a fire spray i want to say i like this music though What is that? What is it called? Ha a hapsichord? Yeah, I want to go ahead and take care of you. I should say I know very little about musical instruments, but I know scratching service level. Like, like when I mean scratching service level, I mean, oh, it's one of those things. I mean, like, I leave a white mark on your skin surface level. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Killed a couple pieces of dead skin off. Cause like it's been like I wanna say since elementary school. Cause in elementary school we actually had music a, a proper like music teacher, I would say. And he actually taught us like what stuff sounds like. I was actually in choir in elementary school for a while. And I forgot about it. I never went over. So there was that. Um, man, that brought up some memories that I didn't want. I would say elementary school was like the best and the worst time of my life. It was the best because looking back on it, I had the most fun. But I also had, like, the worst times. Because as a kid, I did some stuff. Now, when I say I did some stuff, it wasn't anything big. But I would say most of the, uh, most of the, uh, uh, Most of the problems I have mentally come from uh, elementary stuff that happened when I was in elementary school. Like, I find it very hard to say no to somebody. 
Unless it's something that I don't want to do, it is very hard for me to say no to somebody. Why? Because I said no to some, uh, I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say if they were a teacher or a student, let's just say I said no to somebody and I got in trouble with other people, I'm not going to say if it was a teacher or a student, and that made me feel really bad. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. What I will say is, it was enough trouble that, uh, that my teacher, uh, if you, and this was like first grade, not kindergarten, because I'm pretty sure if it was kindergarten, uh, a teacher would probably let it slide a little bit, but I would, I would probably get a start talking to, but I was, I was, for the most part, a goody, to, goody two shoes, for the most part. Uh, my grades weren't the best, but they weren't the worst. I said that was going to be enough for me, but I'm going to keep on talking. I need to, I need to get this off before we continue on. Uh, but, uh, if, if you guys remember, if you were, uh, I don't know about other countries, but, uh, or other states or other school, elementary schools, but we had these thing these cards, okay? You had the green, the yellow, blue, orange, and then red. I want to say. Green was was like, yeah, you, you were good. Yellow means that you had a warning. Blue means some kind of disciplinary action. Uh, as in like, we'll, we'll tell your parents through the agenda book. Orange was like, Okay, we are call we we are probably gonna call your parents, or and if we can't get in contact with them, we're definitely putting it in your agenda book. And the way they put it in your agenda book was with a, it was like, a, I guess the closest we uh, representation I could do to now was emotes. It would draw a, a smiley face like emo, except you would. Uh, and it would either be green, yellow, blue, orange, red. Now, I said that they were probably going to call your parents at orange. What I didn't tell you was at red, and I don't think I ever got to red. I got to orange once for something really stupid. I would have been at blue. Everyone's for the fact that the teacher was like, yeah, no, if you ever come in to my classroom while I'm doing another class, because we had a homeroom class, and then we moved to other classes for other things. Uh, but yeah, if, uh, if we interrupted her during a class to change our card, then we all had to flip, had to do another card, which I think was slightly stupid. I want to say the rule should have been, okay, you come in in once, that's a warning. You don't have to move your card. But if you come in again, you're moving your card. Anyways, now the thing, the thing that I did, the thing that I did, I'm going to go ahead and move it to the next thing, uh, was that... my teacher at the time this is something different thought I had put my head into the toilet now looking back on this I was like how did the teacher even know this uh, apparently we had big snitches big big snitches in elementary school that I did not even know about now did I put my head in the toilet no I did not put my head in the toilet did I look at the sides of a urinal to see quick? Yes. And I wasn't the only one to do it. Now, why was I putting my head uh, looking at the sides of a urinal? Because they were dirty. Like, they looked like somebody threw up on them. Looking back, that was probably like 
I actually don't know what that was. It looked disgusting, though. Now, could this be seen as putting your head in the toilet? Yes, it could. But it's a urinal. And I didn't, and me, didn't, me, myself, did not, at the time, did not see that, see it that way. Also, my head wasn't fully in the urinal. As in, like, if you were to push down on it, activate it, my water would get on my head. No. No, 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 no. This was, like, right on the cusp of, like, just about to enter the area of the uh, bowl below, or whatever the lower part of the urinal is called, I think. I don't know. Where, where the, uh, 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 the cake thing is. I'm gonna go ahead and continue the dialogue. Um. Um. So yeah, so then the teacher was like, so did you put your head in a toilet? And I'm like, no. No. I didn't put my head in a toilet. Because I wasn't thinking that a urinal was a toilet. To me, that wasn't a toilet. So I, I'm here confused, wondering why a teacher is... Uh... Dis disciplining me for something I didn't do told me to go out in the hall at this point I'm crying because I think I'm I've done something wrong that I didn't do then the teacher comes out and asks me like did you put your head in the toilet and I'm like no like crying I even put my head in the toilet and then I forget what she said next, but apparently I misheard her, and she took it as, Oh, so you've been lying to me, and you put your head in the toilet. And I'm just confused as all get out, like, No. I, I, all I know is, no, I did not put my head in a toilet. And then I ended up having to flip my cards. I think that was a little stupid. At the same time, it was like elementary school. I'm trying to think if there was like any other time that I got close. Oh yeah! Second grade. I almost got into ISD for whatever reason. I actually don't remember. Second grade, I was a lazy bum. I didn't do squat. Third grade, I want to say, was the best. But I was also, like, super arrogant. Fourth grade was okay. There was, I would say most of my habits, uh, including my bad ones, were formed in fourth grade. Uh, luckily, I would say half of them were squashed. By the time I got into fifth and sixth grade. Fifth and sixth grade. Uh, fifth grade was the best. It was wonderful. Sixth grade, I want to say, was almost, was just, would have been as good as fifth grade if it wasn't for the fact that the AC and heating in that building in middle school was horrendous so like in the sixth grade hall it would always be hot during the summer like they would have the acs on up all the time but you go into the hall next door which is the eighth grade hall it's freezing and then the seventh grade hall is just okay Eventually, uh, I found out why it was like some, 
let's say problems and there was also because of that problem there was also a lot of mold in the ac uh central unit stuff uh eventually uh when i went to eighth grade they moved into the old high school building and i say old high school building because they built a new high school which i also went to uh that brought together like they basically fused together, I want to say it was three high schools within the area. I want to say. I want to say it was three. I'm not 100% sure, but... It was definitely two. But I want to say it was three. It was going to be four, I think, but... Uh, it, it would have been the city, one of the city, uh, the, yeah, one of the city schools, but I think it, I think there's only, there might be two city high schools, I forget. But yeah, now I got a, oh, high school, high school was weird. Because high school was, like, when I started actually getting, like, into the internet. Like, finding out what, uh, YouTube was. Actually, no. I found out what YouTube was in, like, middle school? I want to say it was middle school. But I didn't actually get into it until high school. I don't know what anime was in like. Ele yeah, it was definitely elementary school. I found out what anime was. Man, was I getting into YouTube in elementary? I forget because I didn't have like we had dial-up internet until like end of middle school for me, so I don't know. And I gotta say, this was like. This was like, uh, 2008-2010-ish. Really confusing. W wasn't really rich, so we were, like, well behind. Most mill uh... I said middle age, uh, uh, middle income <clears throat> families. That's still not the right term, I think. I'm trying to think of the term. I forget, but you know what I mean by, like, middle income. And it's still raining. Huh? Okay, that's what I thought. It looked, look, it looked like it might rain. Do we get this as a mount? I was like pretty. Yeah, 
able to get a sentinel and then... Oh, they should have given me more options. Yeah, because I was pretty much a good at two shoes. It's also, I wouldn't say a loner. Yeah, because I was good at two shoes, I was a little bit of a loner. Not much of a loner, but a little bit of a loner. Uh, I don't really get up to much. I don't know how that... I would say after middle school... Uh, no, I, I'd say actually after elementary school. I don't really do much. Uh, extracurricular activities. Mostly because I hated them. I... I, I for me, I'd rather stay home all day and play video games. Cause I got, I got a Wii. Okay, in elementary school I had a PlayStation 2. Loved it, and then I loved it so much it broke. Um, you could only play DVDs. Couldn't do anything else. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, there was a couple of summer things that I did in middle school. There's also like a, 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 a summer camp, I want to say. I say summer camp, but it was more like a summer daycare thing in middle school because an element... Oh yeah, in elementary school, uh, there was this summer thing that uh, me and my sister did because uh, my mom and dad weren't home all the time. However, that only lasted, I want to say a month, maybe a month and a half. All I know is that it only lasted long enough. I didn't quite last the summer. And... So after that, we would go and stay over at my grandfather's. And he'd watch over us, and I'd watch... I would watch actual television. Because he had actual television. He also had a Wii. Like, I did. So I played a lot of the Wii games. 
I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, he eventually got an Xbox 360, and that was like when I actually got into gaming. But that didn't start till about uh, about high schoolish. This, this episode was like mostly me uh, talking about myself, but man, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you want to see more, hit the bell icon. And if you wanna, um, if you wanna. Uh, watch this live or watch any of the VODs uh, on my Twitch channel. You can go in the link in the description box below. And I'd really appreciate it while you're there if you hit the follow button so that then you can be notified when I go live. It also helps me out quite a bit. And See you next time. What?